Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, you're gonna see a live training that I've done with my team. As we train over 210,000 salespeople across the world, I never really share the meetings that I have with my team as we go out and crush it. I've got 30 people on my team at this point. This is a special training that no one has ever seen before. Check it out, it'll change your life. You know what can happen if you can put yourself in someone else's shoes? You're dangerous. Now, let me explain the second part, right? Look, you don't just find out along the way. And by the way, right now, consciously, you might not even be thinking about what, who this person is or what they're like because you're so interested in making yourself that you're not even thinking about being in their shoes. I'm gonna give you the easiest terminology possible. Do you want to put yourself in their shoes so you can understand them? Watch. When Ian was talking earlier, did you guys feel his heart? Yeah, okay, yeah. The words don't mean anything if they don't fill your heart. Can you make someone else fill your heart? Yes. Okay. Well, how do you get your heart to play out? Well, number one, you start actually using your heart to play yourself so you know how to play it with someone else. Anytime you're getting off the track, guess what? They lose interest. All right, everybody, watch. What happens? Momentum. I want to explain something to you. When I start the phone call with you, my goal is to create massive interest with you, with me. I want you, number one, to know I'm a person you want to stay on the phone with so I can get to here. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do I have to sound right out the gate? I have to sound like somebody that you want to be, okay? Somebody that you want to be, okay? Think about it. We're gonna put their, ourselves in their shoes. Do you think that every person in life wants to be fired up, wants to be energetic, but also wants to be a great speaker? Yes, they wanna be. They might not even know that they want that yet, okay? But they want to do that, I assure you. Do you think they wanna provide for their family massively? Do you think that they want to be able to prove everybody wrong that's ever doubted them? Do you think they want to be able to prove themselves wrong when they doubted themselves? Yes, they want all of these things. Now watch this. Now here is the point that most people will never get to. Let's say you do understand your person in 30 seconds, you predict and it's right. What's the second thing that has to happen? You have to inspire them. You have to motivate them. You have to encourage. Okay? You have to move. What does move mean? Let's not dumb it down. It means to go to one place to another. When you speak to somebody on the phone, and explain something to you, I'm a firecracker. Okay, I'm dialing, 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 dialing. Guy answer, hey, what's up, man? It's Andy, how you doing? Boom, I'm ready to go. Look, the fastest way for me to stay alive is for someone to answer that phone. You know what? Some of you, you're cooling off. Look, let me explain this. When's the best time to sell a car? Right after you, sell right after you sold another one. We all knew the answer to that one. You know why? When's the best time to sell somebody on something? Right after you sold another one. Look, never take a bad call into the next call. It's just a bad call. Doesn't matter. I can I ask you a question? Do you believe in the power of timing? The right person shows up at the right time and the right person gets the right life. Do you believe in it? That's how my life got changed. Someone showed up for me when I needed them to. They gave me a way out and that was it and it was in sales. You need the skill, you get the skill, it fixes the money. Does that make sense? Write down your customer and I want you to do this, right? Build them up. Let me show you a fucking special cheat trick. This, this training, I know but I'll never fucking explain this shit to anybody. Look, no I mean it. Guess what? Hey man, how you doing? What's going on, man? How you feeling today, dude? Listen, I wanted to reach out a little bit. You start right out the gate, you're talking to them, you're fired up. Does that energy have to be there? Okay. Yeah. I can envision this person sitting there, they're talking to me on the phone, they're like, oh, I'm just hanging out. You're like, do me a favor, man, walk away from everybody for a minute. I want to talk to you. As you're talking to somebody, can you feel them getting built up or staying the same? If they aren't getting built up, you're not doing your job. You need to know when the switch happened. Look, I want you guys to be so good. Look, it's called chess. It's not checkers, it's called chess. But I'm gonna tell you this. You're getting on the phone with them. What's chess? Knowing what your next move is. Your next move is to build them up. You build them up, they'll give you a yes every time. I think right, but asking for it at the wrong time will also get you a no. I want you to write this down. 
Do not ask for their business unless you're 100% sure you will get a yes.